Well, good evening, folks. Welcome back to the farm. We're out here in this little piece of wooded area where, remember the other day, we ran some electric netting through here? Well, guess what? The calves got in here and they ran right through that electric netting like it didn't even exist. Fantastic. They did a number on it. Probably ruined this entire roll, in fact. I'm going to try to do what I can do to try and repair it, but... I'm not optimistic, unfortunately. So what I did do today on my way home from work is I did stop for a UFA. I grabbed a whole nother roll, 164 feet of Gallagher Turbo, Turbo electric sheep netting. So it's probably super awesome. Uh, so that's a different brand. We've never used Gallagher before. We've got what we call, what is it called? Stack line, the PV Mart cells. That's what we've used typically. We have four rolls of that. Two rolls of the premium, two rolls of the regular. I definitely would say the premium is where you want to spend your money. The, the, the regular stuff is like, uh, meh. It's okay for like directing traffic, but in terms of actual containment, it's not that great. Are you tired, Finn? Yeah. Okay, well, I won't keep you up too late. It is after supper, so probably getting close to somebody's bedtime, hey? Yeah, so we'll spool up some wire, get some other stuff spooled out here, and see about getting some... You see some poop on the ground? Yeah. We'll see about getting some sheep out into here because where they're currently at, they have pretty much consumed everything in sight. And so we've got this underutilized, I shouldn't say underutilized, a completely unutilized area that uh, just be fantastic to let the sheep in there. So let's get after it. What do you think, Finn? Are we going to be able to fix it? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Whoa. It's broke. Yeah, looking at this end here. Like it, they just, they literally stripped it apart. So I might be able to do something there, but I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna get snipped and uh, it's gonna be, nose. looks to be about 40 nose. feet. What's wrong? Nose. Your nose? Smell something stinky? Yeah. Yeah, is it dog breath? Yeah. Is it dog? Marmarsh. Marmarsh bugging you? Oh, that marmarsh. Anyways, yeah, we're going to end up being about 40 feet shy of what we were. But that's okay. Better than throwing the whole roll away. All right, well, I got I got my old spool spooled up here. And you might be wondering, like, how am I going to prevent the new spool from looking like the old spool? Well, I mean, to state the obvious, I'm just not going to let the cows back in on this side of the electric fence. And it's not really that they were ever allowed in there. It's just... They were in this field right here and i'd only ran two strands so the cows themselves didn't get in but the calves got in calves are pretty rambunctious and i don't know what they saw over there that was fun times other than the electric fence but uh nevertheless <clears throat> the big picture big picture is that this whole section all the way over there and around on the other side and down to the corrals down to the corrals is actually already fenced up and from here to the other side of the crowds is already fenced up. There's really just this little leg, which is probably two more full rolls, three hundred two three hundred and thirty foot rolls of page wire to do. So not not a terrible amount. It's just finding the time to do it because this stuff doesn't just go up in fifteen minutes by any means. Certainly not as quick as this stuff goes up. That's the that's the beauty of this stuff. It's expensive and it's fragile. But it's quick, it's convenient, it's mobile. So there's there's pros and cons to it really, right? Alright, well let's open this bad boy up here and see see what it looks like. Yeah. Hear that too? Thunder! Bag. Everything's got to be in plastic nowadays. Even plastic. Plastic wire, plastic posts. It's got to be wrapped in a plastic bag. And then tied up with plastic string. I better put that in my pocket so it doesn't stay out here in the field. And you know what really what really irks me, what jerks my gherkin, is that all of these posts, every single one of them, they're two-legged posts, and they come with these little rubber nubs on there. 
Because goodness gracious, what if you turned into Sleeping Beauty while you were unloading this thing? So now all of those plastic little nubs, I have to unload. Pretty nice though, it actually, this stuff does come with some peg downs and uh, it looks to be a little bit of stuff to do some repairs. We had to do some repairs. Probably not enough to repair that blue stuff that I got, but it's the thought that counts. Okay. Over there. There we go. Now, it comes with these two, they look like Velcro straps. I think they're supposed to be kind of like a carrying handle actually, which is, which is convenient, I suppose. But this might just end up being like a tent. Like once it's, once it's apart, it never really quite goes back together again quite this way. I think I've got it figured though nowadays how I do this is I grab post by post by post by post and end up with a big bundle of posts in my hands. I lay that down and then I roll all the net all the way up to this and then tie it with a piece of baler twine and it works quite well. Get this unraveled here. And then we'll go for a hike through the bush and see about putting some up. All right, well, I just had to head back up to the house, drop my little helper off there. She was she was timed out for the day. And then I noticed we had some problems with the swimming pool that the, the pump motor for the filter was just like making all kinds of grindy gravelly noises. And uh, so anyway, I had to do some work on that. And then I realized I lost my pocket knife and I think I left it down here on the ground somewhere and the last time i lost that pocket knife i lost it for well over a year and a half and there it is right there laying underneath the net that is lucky better not lose that that's my trust that's a klein klein what is this one this is like a specific model too they're they're hard to get 44037 so that's i mean that's the knife that you buy for like 45 dollars and it just lasts you your entire lifetime or until you lose it. Now I'm just in the process of removing all these little plastic nubs. There's like a hundred of them. Well, probably not even a hundred. There's probably like 50 of them. Doesn't make it any less annoying. Like, what do we need that for? You know, I gotta say, so we come through the bush here and we're gonna go all the way through to there. We spent hours, hours brush cutting all of this to get it cleaned up to make it so this could come through and uh, sticks man oh man sticks are your worst enemy when you're doing this you're trying to untangle it or well, not untangle it but unravel it because one little stick catches on like six layers of this stuff like when you're a kid sticks are your friend like sticks are awesome right now i'm ready to burn this whole bloody forest down sticks all right so i got it strung it's not I'm just up against this one right here. It's all still laid flat, but I just wanted to show you since I was here, the difference between the premium fencing, which has these plastic upcomers, and then electric wires here. This isn't electrified, but all of these are, versus the regular stuff, which is electrified both directions, but there's no plastic support in here. So this stuff is much easier like when you make contact to to get under it to get over it to get through it because it's a lot more flimsy whereas this stuff is quite a bit more resistant the problem is is when this com stuff comes into contact with something that's uh six seven hundred pounds it it breaks like it just breaks apart and you're really limited on what you can do to repair it other than basically doing a patch like with something like this. So that roll that I just took up to the house, sadly is gonna be spare parts that I hopefully don't need. But as you can see, I mean, this tree fell down here. This fell down before I weed whacked. I had to cut it all up to kind of get some of it out of the way. But we are in a wooded area with some trees that are towards the end of their life. And I'd love to buck them all down, but so, I mean, I can't just, I can't just get into there, right? So let the sheep in, they can clean up and I can do some more every year. I do a bit, right? Knock some deadfall down, clean up a little bit, slowly work on 
making this, converting it into essentially a silvo pasture, right? So what a silvo pasture is, is you've got dappled shade. So you still, he still provides shade, still provides some uh, shelter from the wind and the elements, but the light can get through and the grass can grow. And so you can see how, how well the grass grows in here. So we're already like halfway there. It's just a matter of really cleaning up some of this deadfall and getting rid of some of the, what are, this is aspen or willow or whatever, this, this underbrush, this thick, thick, dense underbrush that uh, slows down the grass. But we'll see, maybe the sheep will eat that too. I know goats would come in here and they would just clean that right out. Pigs would come in here and clean that right out. I've never been brave enough to put the pigs in here. Mostly because I know like if the pigs got in here and then for whatever reason got out, I, uh, I, I just have to shoot them. I don't, I don't know if I could get them back. <laughs> I'm just not set up, not set up for that. And there's only so many shenanigans that I'm cut out for in a day. All right, so we've zigged, we've zagged, we've wandered our way through the forest. <laughs> I don't even, I, there must be a legal requirement to hang like a warning sign on an electric fence, but the sheep can't read. They're gonna be on that side. There's no warning on the other side. Whatever will they do? Zap, zap, zap. Also, I guess just to revisit a question that I got last year when I bought some of this electric netting. Why, why would I buy electric netting instead of just buying animal feed? Like why would I buy electric netting to keep them in a forest in an obscure area for a short period of time? instead of just buying hay. Well, so that roll of wire, that 164 feet of wire cost $279. So in today's market, that would buy me two hay bales, two round hay bales, which would last me a week a piece. So essentially for the cost of that net, which I can use for several years to come, reuse and reuse and reuse and reuse for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, I could buy two, two weeks worth of feed but I can put them in here. They'll eat this jungle down for maybe three to four weeks. And then I can pick that net up and I can move it further back into the further back, you know, in further into the forest, into another section and let them eat some more. And that will allow our main pastures to recover and just allows us to do the animal grazing rotation, allow the pastures to recover and it's, you know, in terms of manure distribution, if you can spread it out much more, much better, then uh, you get less parasite load, of course, so less, less issues with worms, less issues with keds, all that kind of stuff. So that fence line right there behind me, that's the one that I just did there the other weekend. And so it goes all the way to that corner. And so technically all I need to do to move them is this fence line that runs east and west along the south side. Tie that back <clears throat> and they could have access to a whole pile more grass. So buy me another month just with the use of these electric nets. So they are actually pretty fantastic. Like I said, they're pricey and you're buying a roll for darn near close to the same price that you're buying a roll of permanent fencing. But that permanent fencing, once it's up, well, I mean, it's there. You're not picking it up and moving it anywhere. So there is that. So again, pros and cons with everything, right? Now you'll see where we ran the fence. We mowed. Super important to do this. Why? Because, well, solar energizer goes to there. Every wet blade of grass that touches that takes away from your voltage. And that way when a piece, when an animal or a predator or the farm dog, whatever it might be, touches that. It's that much voltage that gets lessened that that uh, stops them in their tracks because it's just going to ground off of wet leaves. So mow yourself a path and you'll have far better luck. Anyways, let's go get some sheep. Hopefully they're still here. Here, yeah, sheep, 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 sheep. I'd say they're either all out or uh, down at the far end, far corner of the field here. Down the far corner. See if you can't get them, get them on a stampede here. Here, yeah, sheep, sheep, sheep. Holy, I better go. 
Come on, girls. Come on, ladies. It's a marathon. Around the corner, quick. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Oh, out of breath. I got heartburn now. Let me get some snacks. Boom. Look at that. Tasty business. Mm -mm -mm. You can kind of see back there. Well, maybe not so much anymore, but well, cupcake. We got a runty lamb. We've never had a runty lamb before, but this year we had one. And then of course the LGD thought it was a chew toy. Chewed its poor ear off when we were, yeah, oh boy. We had some discipline to deal with there for sure. But anyways, still kicking, still doing okay. I shouldn't say it's thriving. It's not like it's really gaining any kind of weight. I'm thinking it's just gonna end up being like a little pet sheep that we have floating around here. Won't be able to breed it. We'll never make any money off it at market. And it'd be kind of cruel to send it for a butcher in anyways. So I guess the girls have a one-eared sheep for a pet. What a life we live. Well, there you go. The fence is up. The sheep are where they're supposed to be. The wind is picking up. It's cooling down. I'm thinking I got about five minutes until that drops its load on me. So I'm going to head for the house, fix up a cup of tea. So I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.